This is Perch, and we are taking a look at DC in November. This is comics that DC will be producing in November. There are a lot of them, so I hope you're you're ready. You got your drink. I'm uh, I'm gonna have a beer here while we go through this because that's what's gonna be required. And um, yeah, let's let's see what DC has on tap for November. Now, just off the offset, um, you know, if you remember right. Uh, DC was, uh, a lot of people were claiming an imminent danger of being shut down in the summer. And then DC themselves, uh, meaning Jim Lee himself, said that they were focusing on fewer comics, uh, more quality, you know, less is more kind of basic thing. So let's uh, let's see how that has turned out. Uh, Batman the Imposter number two leads the way uh, with uh, uh, Andrea Sorrento. Uh, this is uh, Detective... Blair Wong sets her sight on Bruce Wayne, but it's not the real Bruce Wayne, it's a different Bruce Wayne, and the real Bruce Wayne has to figure out who the fake Bruce Wayne is. And that leads us to Batman the Imposter number three, who doesn't like two issues in one month. So uh, Matt Tomlin, again, art by um, Andrea Sorrento. Uh, the battle against the imposter, poisoning Bruce's name, heats up. Um, why is it that when the imposters come in, they always, like, they tarnish the hero's name? Like, they never come in and just, like, do a better job. Like, uh, that would be... That'd be nice at some point. Uh, uh, who is the imposter? It's Jace Fox. No, no, just just kidding. It's uh, it's a different imposter. Anyway, Batman One Dark Knight, uh, written by Jock with art by Jock. This is issue number one of three. Uh, this is another prestige format. Um, uh, Black Label, Batman. Black Label is, is Batman Label, basically. Uh, DC is Batman Label. Uh, DC is Detective Comics. I mean, they're just giving you what they've always been promising to give you. Anyway, um, it's uh, time for a uh, GCPD to escort uh, EMP. Hey, Batman is escorting them, so he's on good terms here. Why not? Batman 116, uh, the penultimate issue of uh, James Tinian's run. I believe he is leaving with 117. So in this one, Fear State... Oh yeah, we're still in fear state. So uh, an insane, heavily armed peacekeeper number one, high body count. Uh, whose side is Miracle Molly on? You know, with Batman comms unreliable, we've got Oracle and we've got Dark Oracle. We've got a moving truck outside that is uh, drawing my attention slightly more than the DC slits, I must, I must uh, admit. Anyway, um, then we have Batman 117 here. Which, uh, again, it does, it's not saying it's the last issue of, of Tinian. Maybe I have it wrong. Maybe it's 119. I, I don't remember. It's been so much injury. Anyway, he's leaving soon, is the point. In this issue, the full scope of Scarecrow's plans are revealed. Dark Knight fights for his life. The shocking conclusion to Fear State is here. Will Batman ever be the same? I mean, sure. He, he'll be the same. Uh, Arkham City, the Order of the World. This is a, a not black label Batman uh, book. And uh, here we have uh, two of six, uh, Dr. Jocasta Joy, Arkham's last living psychiatrist. Pretty much everyone that's been hired at Arkham turns out to be a, uh, a crazy person every time. Like, uh, they, they've got the worst hiring. I mean, this is like, uh, it's like, it's like a, if a Harvey Weinstein was just hiring serial killers. It's, uh, anyway, terrible, terrible plans there. Batman Urban Legends number nine. Uh, big collection of people, Brandon Thomas, Alyssa Wong, Dan Waters, Sam Johns. And uh, this, this Batman anthology series promises a bunch of Batman and some Fear State. And we got I Am Batman. We all are Batman having to go through all this. Let's, let's be honest. Anyway, this is uh, Jace attempts to stem the tide of misinformation from the seer. Um, will it be too late? Yes. Anyway, uh, Harley Quinn number nine. In this issue, Harley Quinn is uh, running around. Uh, anyway, oh, it's... it's <sighs> This is where they write the solicitation as if it is Harley Quinn. Uh, because as we all know, Harley Quinn is super popular. And, you know, nothing could... So that's a nice cover, though. Anyway, um, she's got some anxiety. It's a scarecrow. And anyway, Batman Secret Files, The Gardener, part of Fear State. This is uh, more diving into the, um, the legacy of Poison Ivy. You know, Tinian's doing a lot of these stories as well. And in fairness, you could just... Uh, you know, if they wanted to just pretend that Tinian was still with the company, they could have delayed all these books and just, with all the other things he's writing, you know, you would have had him continue to do Batman stuff for like another four years just just by not having it come out all at once. I, I, anyway, what do I know? Catwoman number 37. Catwoman and Harley Quinn find some goo. That's what's going on here. 
Um, in this case, goo is uh, capturing, I'm guessing poison ivy. Looks like poison ivy goo to me. You got the plants here, that's, that's your giveaway. Uh, but it could also be that Masters of the Universe slime thing where you used to put the characters down and the slime would like dump on their head. And that was cool for some reason. Anyway, Nightwing uh, number 86. It's uh, Nightwing and the Bat Family in drones. So lots of drones. Hey, spoiler is like looking over at Tim, like you dick. That's what's going on right here. Anyway, um, Detective Comics 1045. It's a uh, fear state and looks like a plant kaiju monster is, is going to eat uh, Batman there. Mariko Tamaki writing with Stephanie Phillips. Um, it, this is the backup. So, uh, you know, she, she, Mariko is not quite, uh, you know, graduated to the Dan Slot level of having a, another person just yet. Task Force Z, number two, Matt Rosenberg, uh, Zombie Bane, and uh, other, other zombies. Uh, our Suicide Squad with Zombies, basically here. Batman, Fear State Omega. This is the final issue, and this is the one, uh, again, James Tinian. This is Fear State draws to a close, new day, but without Batman. Batman is leaving Gotham, leaving the, the, the problems of Gotham in the hands of all the various members of the Bat family, which there are tons. Somehow, even though Bruce Wayne Batman is leaving, the result of this will be more Batman books. I, I just, it's... Uh, crazy. Robins, number one. We already talked about this. This is where all the Robins learned that there was a first Robin before all the other Robins. It's gone crazy and now trying to kill the other Robins. Here we have Robin and Batman. See what they did here? They switched it up. It's the other way around. Anyway. All right. Um, Jeff Lemire, basically. The legendary story of Batman and Robin, this time talking about Robin and Batman kind of the other way around. And here's Robin and Batman number two. Okay. When, you're, when you need something to do, you bring in Killer Croc, who's been drinking by the look of that, no, that nose. Um, Gotham City, but we're still with Batman. Gotham City Villains Anniversary Giant number one. Uh, this is uh, written by Danny DeVito. That's cool. Uh, G. Willow Wilson, Philip Kennedy, Josh Williamson, Stephanie Phillips, Dan Waters, Marguerite Scott, Wes Craig. Lots of people here. Big anthology issue, 96 pages, $10. I knew they'd be able to get $10 out of it. Gotham City Villains uh, doing stuff uh, right here. Uh, then we got uh, Dark Knights of Steel, number one. We talked about this as well. This is Tom Taylor with uh, what if Batman was in uh, medieval times? And uh, what does that look like? And then Dark Knights of Steel, number two. What if Wonder Woman was in medieval times? And Batman's involved. And then we got uh, Justice League Incarnate, which is spinning out of uh, Infinite Frontier. And this is the new uh, you know, multi-universal Justice League uh, that we have going on. And it uh, looks like we got Thomas Wayne, so different Batman. Captain Carrot in there, so, uh, you know, got this going on here. Uh, Wonder Woman, Evolution. Uh, Wonder Woman fights against jaw problems from the look of that. Uh, and probably back problems, too. I mean, let's, let's, <laughs> let's just be honest. Anyway, in this one, um, uh, basically a cosmic entity grabs Wonder Woman and forces her to take part in challenges and uh, legal uh, arguments to save humanity because uh, the uh, anyway and then uh we got kind of back to batman world we got tis the season to be freezing so it's november and it's snow so get it freezing and uh harley quinn has apparently tied up mr freeze and he's just forced to stand here and be like oh no i have been captured by lights and uh that's kind of that's kind of what we got here okay um the, 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 this is kind of interesting. Andrew Wheeler, T. Franklin, uh, Paul Dini. Oh, okay. The weather outside is freezing. These stories are pleasing. <laughs> uh, um, okay, what do we got? Ten Tales, Harley Quinn, and Blue Snowman, Ice Out Hawkman, Batman Fights Cold Heart of Mr. Freeze. The JLQ don't stand a snowball's chance against Minister Blizzard. Uh, Batman Superman, Authority Special number one. This is uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson continuing from the, uh, uh, the Grant Morrison story where we get uh, Batman. Because if there's one part of the uh, Superman and the Authority story where it was like really missing, it's Batman. Superman, the Authority needed Batman. That's, that's, what, we, that's what we have. Anyway, so um, more, more, more stories there. Then we have the Batman 2021 annual number one. Written by James Stinian. Um, this is about Ghostmaker. It's a Batman annual featuring Ghostmaker. Sure. The saga con concludes. 
All right. Then we get the Joker 2021 annual, number one, also written by James Tinian. Once again, DC, you could have just staggered these books out for another year and he would have still been with your company. You, you do know that, right? I mean, look at all these, these one shots and annuals. And Anyway, all right. Uh, James Gordon is chasing the Joker here. Detective Comics 21 annual number one. You're putting out all the Batman annuals in the same month in November. Like what in November? What what are you even doing? You've got Fear State. You have a bunch of black label things. You've got one shots over here and over there. And then you're also like, you know what? Now's the time to have three annuals. And as I scroll down, there could be a fourth and a fifth. I mean, are we getting a Harley Quinn annual? Who knows? Sorry, I'll spoil it. Yeah, we're getting Nightwing. There's more. Why in the holy shit are you putting all the annuals out in the same month in November when you're also concluding a giant Batman storyline that's double shipping with an Omega issue and everything else? Like, what are you, what are, what, what are you doing, DC? Anyway, <clears throat> all right, fine. Uh, Mariko Tamaki and Matt Rosenberg doing this one. Uh, this is uh, Shadows of the Bat Begins Here. So Mayor Nakano, New Arkham Tower, Bat Family Torn. Batman is uh, it's Arkham stuff. Okay. Nightwing 2021 annual, Red Hood and Nightwing team up to go uh, look for chicks. And they can't invite Tim. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. So uh, first Robin. And there's a Robin. Annual. We're just, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. We have our Robin annual here. Um, all right. And we get a Wonder Woman annual. This is nice. Something that's not Batman. Uh, Wonder Woman, a girl looks at a photo of Wonder Woman, she's inspired and thinks Wonder Woman logo. And then DC sues her for trademark uh, appropriation. Anyway, um, oh, she's since her return for Spear of the Gods. Oh, spoilers. Uh, trying to reconnect. The best way to do it, put a photo in an art gallery. That's how you connect with the plebes. Uh, that's what you do. Justice League Dark 2021 annual. It doesn't have it. it Justice League Dark does not have its own series, but we're going to do an annual. Makes sense to me. All right. Uh, Superman, Son of Kal-El, 2021 annual number one. Kal-El goes and chills out on Lex Luthor's couch. Uh, all right. Superman, Son of Kal-El, number five. So we have issue number five and an annual. Is this the? Is this one of the earliest times we've gotten an annual in a series run? That's, uh, I mean, old move, Cotton. All right. So anyway, um, yeah, the Batman box set. We need a, a, a box set of Batman. This is going to be the uh, Long Halloween. Um, the uh, what, else, what else in here? Long Halloween, Batman Year One by known uh, uh, terrorist Frank Miller and Batman Ego. Okay, so three Batman books. The Fables 20th Anniversary box set. I like Bill Willingham, but this is a pretty awesome set. Um, all right. Uh, Mr. Miracle, Great Escape. This is uh, the trade paperback of, I don't know what this is actually, to be honest with you. Scott Free wants nothing more. Plan, Big Barda. All right. Cool. Soft cover. Is this new? What, what the hell is this? All right, I should know by now. Everybody in the comments will say I'm an idiot. I love Mr. Miracle, but I'm honestly not quite sure. This is cover that's throwing me. Um, but anyway, Rorschach. Um, all right, this is a collection of Rorschach. If you if you bought a Rorschach and you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish I could read all of this in one place. Here you go. Maybe that's maybe that's you. Uh, Strange Adventures. All right, it's a double double threat of Tom King uh, coming at you. Action Comics 1037. Superman versus Mongol. Philip Kennedy Johnson. The face off you've been waiting for. The Authority is in this one as well. Okay. Aquaman: The Becoming. All right. This is uh, this is Jackson Hyde, who is becoming Aquaman slowly over six issues. Aquaman, Green Arrow, Deep Target. Aquaman and, and Green Arrow find a target in the deep. I'm guessing that's that's what we're doing here. Arkham City. You thought we were done with Batman stuff, but nope. Uh, Arkham City: The Order of the World by Dan Waters. Uh, Solomon Grundy is doing some things. Um, Tin Eyed Man, Strange Methods. Doctor Joy. It's tying into the other Arkham story above. Batman 89, number four. I like how they, they get a bunch of Batman stuff and they like start to tease you with a couple of Superman titles. They're like, <laughs> no, here's some more Batman for you. Anyway, um, all right. This is the Sam Ham uh, Batman here. Uh, Batman Catwoman, number nine. Now with uh, less Clayman and more Liam Sharp. Uh, they delayed this issue for a long time. 
this or this comic. So Clayman could do the whole thing. And then seven, eight, and nine, we've got Liam Sharp. Now I love Liam Sharp, so this is uh, this is fine news and for me in terms of art. But uh, there is there is a question out there of what happened to Clayman. Maybe that could be maybe that could be Tom King's next series. What happened to Clayman? And then it's revealed that like Clayman was actually a an alter ego for a superhero that killed his daughter or something. I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Batman versus Big B, Wolf in Gotham number three. Cool. Batman Reptilian with Garth Ennis and Liam Sharp. Two Liam Sharps in one month. This concludes this series, which has been pretty damn good. Batman The Adventures Continue Season 2, number 6. Batman gets strung up and kissed by everyone, even though at least two of the women on that cover wouldn't be into it. Batman The Adventures Continue Season 2, number 7. Boat Mayhem. Batman The Detective. This is the Tom Taylor Batman where Batman meets a girl uh, Batman in a white costume and fights a homeless guy with a scarf. Um, Batman Urban Legends, number 10. Um, this is the debut of Teeny Howard uh, in DC. Actually, well, she's been there before, but she's back again. And uh, Tim Drake is uh, making peace with Batman before he leaves Gotham, which is a bad news because Batman is leaving Gotham, so he doesn't need to go anywhere. Uh, but anyway, um, Teeny is doing a Nightwing Oracle and Batgirl's Holiday Spectacular. Even DC's confused. They're saying makes her DC debut, except she was in DC before, but no problem. Black Manta, number three. Black Manta is uh, pinned on the ground, and a girl with a flaming sword is just going to give him a nice flaming back massage there. Checkmate, number six. Six of six. This is the Brian Michael Bendis uh, Checkmate series. Crush and Lobo. Lobo uh, Crush gets a yard margarita, and Picks up, uh, picks up a drunk date. That's what's going on there. Number seven. Well, uh, the date and Crusher are, are drunk, so Lobo is going to pick up this bomb and lick it some. That's what's happening. Uh, Soul Plumber, number two. This is a DC uh, horror book. Um, apparently some... I don't know what's going on here. Somebody's read ripped apart is basically confronting some protesters i'm not sure anyway soul plumber number three uh, this I, I actually i'm joking but i've heard this is a pretty good horror book so people should check it out then we got dc versus vampires featuring batman uh james tinian writing this one as well um I, I don't need to say it for the 18th time deathstroke incorporated number three deathstroke gets on a unicorn and uh you know fights the rainbow land okay this looks like Deathstroke in Rainbow Bright territory. That's what this looks like here. Uh, Future State, Gotham, number seven. The Red Hood uh, doing his thing in Future State Gotham. Green Lantern, number eight. Everybody's favorite uh, Teen Lantern, uh, once again featured here. Uh, will the Dark Sector die? Will this cover have anything to do with a comic? Well, if uh, the current run of Green Lantern is any indication, no. Uh, Hardware, season one, number four. Uh, she picks up the helmet, ponders it. Uh, Harley Quinn animated series, Eat, Bang, Kill, Tour, number three. Human Target, number two. Uh, Tom King looking to ruin another marriage in DC. Uh, Icon and Rocket, season one, number five. Justice League, number 70. Green Arrow, and it's Batman. Um, They're fighting the Royal Flush Gang. Justice League Infinity, which does not appear to have a Batman. But, uh, but anyway, that, that's uh, J.M. DeMattis, James Tucker doing some stuff there. And here's Justice League Infinity number six. Once again, oh, nope, there's Batman. He's there. So they, they, they went all in with uh, Vixen's butt right here. That, that is the star of that cover. Uh, Justice League Last Ride featuring Batman. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knight number seven with Batman. Um, cool, okay. I'm kind of curious, Brandon Easton, Carl Mustard, who's the Baron? Hmm. Thinking it's not uh, Mike Baron, but anyway. Looney Tunes number 263, no Batman. Mad Magazine with Batman. Here we have <laughs> Nubia and the Amazons number two. This is a weird way to punch somebody in the head, but apparently that's that's how they do it on uh, Amazon Town. It's, it's a... This is, this is not how you scissor. I, ooh, I, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Uh, Nubian and the Amazons, number three. That's a good cover. Now, that that's that's looking pretty awesome there. She looks... Uh, this looks like she's about to... She's dressing up nice, and then later she's going to murder some people. Pennyworth, number four. 
Not featuring Batman, but featuring Batman's Alfred, who's dead. Refrigerator full of heads, number two. Uh, Robin, number eight, with, uh, you know, with no Batman, but it's the son of Batman. Static, season one, at number six. Will we get more uh, references to uh, things that were popular in the 80s? Not sure. Suicide Squad, number nine. Uh, okay. Suicide Squad in space. Is this Teen Lantern they're fighting? Probably not, but man, they'd be screwed if they were up against Teen Lantern. Um, Suicide Squad number 10. See, after fighting Teen Lantern, in come all the Hawkman people. Uh, I, I'm, I'm joking. It's the Thangarians. I, I, I know. Suicide Squad King Shark, number three. King Shark fights uh, King Leopard. Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Uh, into the Jaws, you go. Uh, there we are. Superman 78, number four. Okay. Robert Mediti. This is this is a fun little this is a fun series from what I've seen. So Teen Titans Academy, featuring everyone's favorite Red X. Uh, that is uh, what's what's happening there. It's graduation day? No, it's homecoming time. Sure. Um, then Scooby Doo with Batman. Why would you go on a, a roller coaster with the Joker's face on it if you're Batman? I mean you, you seems seems like a bad plan. Anyway, Splash number seven seventy six. The Joker, number seven, looks like, uh, ooh, uh-oh, Gordon and the Joker, kidnapped by some police from somewhere. Uh, the Joker presents a puzzle box. That's kind of creepy. He's like drooling blood out of the maze of his face. That's a, that's a clever little thing. Uh, Joker presents puzzle box number five with the Riddler. Nice house on the lake, number six, the James Tinian title at DC that will be continuing. That's yeah, a fun little horror book. Swamp Thing, number nine. Well, it is the ninth of 10th issue, and the question is, where's Batman? Uh, anyway, uh, in this one, Swamp Thing takes on Antlerhead, and uh, teens, Titans United, Red Hood is fighting somebody. Donna Troy? Uh, no, it can't be Donna Troy. Well, maybe. I mean, who knows anymore? Uh, maybe that's Lady Vic. Wonder Girl, number seven. Man, this just Yara of Gang is. This has lost all momentum, and uh, with Jolie Jones no longer doing the art, it's a shame. But uh, but anyway, uh, Wonder Woman, black and gold, number six. Wonder Woman has uh, finally found deodorant that works for her, and she's showing everyone no problem. She can fight, murder, storm the castle, whatever she needs to do, and she is confident in how she smells. Uh, Wonder Woman, seven eighty one. Wonder Woman discovers that the sword can have a reflection of herself. And that's it. That's uh, that's what we got. A bunch of collections here, including uh, one with no art. There's uh, Sandman and Superman. Are none of these going to have art? I'm not going to go through them all then. Anyway, there you go. Uh, coming out in November from Batman, I mean from DC. Um, what are you buying? What are you liking? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. That's a shit ton of Batman. Brace yourself, Robin. We're going down. This